This question, we're going to use algebra to find the area of this shape, simplifying your answer as far as possible. Now, you can either split the shape uh, this way or this way. We will do it both ways in this video. So we'll just do it across here first of all. So we'll consider this rectangle here as A1 and this as rectangle A2. So re area of A1 is length times width. So it'll be 8A times 2B. And then we'll write this out as 8 times 2 of A times B. And then 8 times 2 is 16. And then A times B we'll write as AB. Right, now we'll uh, try to find the area of A2. Now we have a problem here because we need to find this length here. But we know that this length here is 5B and that this length here is 2B, which is the same width as this one here. So we can say that this one here is 5B minus 2B, which gives me 3B. And then we can go ahead and do A2 is going to be 2A, 2A times this length here, which is 3B. And then we're going to write it out as 2 times 3 times A times B. Two threes are 6. And then A times B is going to be AB. And then in order to find the total area, we just need to add those together. So the total area will be 16AB plus 6AB, which will give me 22AB. Now, what would happen if we put the line this in this place instead of here? Let's have a look at that. So again, we've got two rectangles, which we call A1 and A2. So for A1, um, we will need to find this length here. So this length here is 8A, and if we take away 2A, that will give me this length here, which will give me 6A. So A1 will be 6A times 2B. And then we'll write this out as 6 times 2 times a times b. 6 times 2 is going to be 12. a times b is going to be a b. a2 will be uh, 2a times 5b. And then we'll write that out as, as 2 times 5 times a times b. 2 times 5 is 10 and a times b is a b. So we get 10 a b. So adding a1 and a2 together, we go again, we're just going to get 22 a b. So either way you put this line, you will get the you should get the same answer. So this has been a video to show you to find the area of a compound shape uh, using algebra. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for I thank you very much for watching.